it guys so yeah i haven't had the best start this morning i finally got this little hottie and yeah hopefully they're here i didn't even record it but yeah let's get a few Okay guys, so yeah, I showed you which setup I'm going to use But I showed you that I'm going to use my Berkeley Venom Diamond bag today And my 5.5 Slam, and now this is probably my favorite scratching outfit And I've got a bit heavier braid on here because we're fishing in the kelp and so on But yeah, this is, this is the outfit to go when you're costing about Let's say, you can scratch between 30 meters and 100 meters can throw in the same spot on every cost so yeah let's get our bait in the water and uh, let's get some hotties so yeah guys this is a typical hottie spot deeper water um, there's a nice, nice swell coming through there there's a lot of kelp and um, there's a lot of people that don't like to fish here at the camp because there's a lot of pickers, um, a lot of clippers, a lot of smaller hotties and a lot of crayfish and that's probably the worst thing because uh, the crayfish takes your bait, goes into his hole and you think you're stuck and uh, you break off so that's why we keep our, our bait alive you, you give it a twitch every now and then as you see in the video and um, yeah, you just have that connection with your, with your bait the whole time this is not the place where you cast your line in water and put your rod in the rod spike this is just um, like you know scratching it's keeping your rod in your hand the whole time uh, you don't have to have any patience to, to do this type of fishing which is lacquer because um, you, you go and look for the fish and when you find the fish it's on and there's a bite oh yeah. good so let me show you now Oh, here's the bike, here's the bike. Here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes, like it, yeah. Definitely caught you. Okay. Yeah. Yo, so come on, yeah. Yes! Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah! Don't forget to Yeah! Ah, so it's Right guys, another hotty. They're on the bike now, but um, it's 
no need to be greedy and take all the fish that we catch. Uh, so they are quite sustainable, they're fast growing. But yeah, let's release this one. So what I'm trying to do is to keep my bait alive. So I don't want it to sit still for too long. Otherwise the crayfish and the clipfish and stuff, they, they eat your bait. So you just keep it alive. You just give it a little twitch now and then. Just shake off a crayfish. Some people, they really struggle to, to, to fish in the kelp. So we're just waiting for that one better bite. Yeah, you have to, to keep your, your bait alive. You have to twitch it every now and then to shake off the crayfish and to shake away the, the little small fish and wait for that bigger one. Don't strike at every bite you get. Rather, rather let it lie there for a little bit. When you feel there's a bite, give it a bit of slack. When it takes your bait and pulls your rod down, then you can strike off. Yeah. Sometimes when I push my, my rod, it twitches back and then I, I hook it and I know it's a bigger hotting. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Woo. This is a nice fish. Oh, oh nice hot Oh, nice hot fish. Oh. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Right, look at that RT. That's a nice size. That's probably like 43 or 44 centimeter. Awesome fish. Okay, there's my dad on. Right guys, another fat hotty Turned out to be a nice session. I think we've got five now. And um, yeah, that's a, that's a decent size. So. Okay guys, there's my trace. There's my sinker trace. Um, here's my hook snoot already tied to my swivel. Now, what I want to do now, I'm using this landed octopus uh, size two. Now this is size one. I want to do a snell knot, but now I don't want to cut that piece of line off to put the snell through if you understand what I'm saying so I'm going to put this line through from the bottom here and then I'm going to make a, a figure eight here so just two loops around your finger put the line through and then also put your hook through from, from the same side and just pull that line tight and there's my figure eight around the shank of the hook it's snelled like you can see uh, you can just cut that off like that so yeah there's it snell so i love this uh, snell knot because sometimes it does help you um, for hookups sometimes the fish catch themselves so yeah give that a go
Oh, sorry. Guys, we seem to find the fish. There's a nice fat hotty. Um, still fishing with the diamond back. And um, oh, yeah, we're still. Oh, then my dad missed one. We're still throwing about 30 40 meters, but they're here. But yeah, I wanted to show you the setup I'm using here um, for scratching and uh, yeah, catching hotties and for you. And I know this lot can pull bigger fish as well. So. Yeah, success and guys if you enjoyed the video please subscribe please like the video and um, yeah give me an idea what you want to see next i'm keen for ideas and uh, yeah i'll see you again next time